What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be showing you a sneaky little coverage adjustment that you can do in the 335 wide that is going to absolutely put the bunch meta in a little bit of a weird spot and honestly put them in a position where they could potentially turn the ball over, uh, especially on a lot of the bombs that you see out of the gun bunch. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every single day that can help you get better on both sides of the ball. Also, I have released a 4-6 defensive guide. This is a defensive guide that I've been using to honestly shut down pretty much everything um, in terms of like big plays, forcing my opponent to have to work. Obviously, you're not going to get a stop every single time on defense this year. It's kind of naive to think that. But you're going to be able to get really good pressure with this defensive guide. You're also going to be able to have bend but don't break coverages that will force your opponent into mistakes that will basically, the way that I look at defense this year, it's more about getting turnovers than it is about getting consistent stops. So this is a defense that you can go to that's going to basically force your opponent to have to work up and down the field. It's also a defense that you're going to be able to get a lot of turnovers with, which is really what makes it really special and effective. So that being said, if you want to get the defensive guide, there's a link in the description. You can get it for just 15 bucks. Uh, the 4-6 defense is, I mean, it's just the best defense because the linebackers don't jump. So by using the 3-3-5 normal and audibling in the 3-3-5 wide, we obviously we get better personnel on the field we get better players that can jump but we also are able to get our um, better coverage adjustments which i'm going to show you how to do that in this video so uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put the safety nickelback um, safety at nickelback uh, package on and that's going to allow us to make a really unique adjustment out of the mike blitz three you can do this you don't you don't just have to do this out of mike blitz three you can do this out of anything but I love this adjustment and what it's going to do for our defense. So that being said, let's dive into the video. So what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to just audible down into Mike Woods 3 because it's going to be easier. Again, you don't have to do it um, just out of Mike Blitz 3. Okay, you can do this out of anything. But we're just going to go to the Gun Bunch Verticals Halfback Underplay. Um, and we're just going to run the Cover 3 Meta Bomb setup. So you'll see here that if I just run kind of standard Mike Blitz 3, that if they run this setup right here out of verticals, this is a setup that you know I posted at the very beginning of the year that's been giving everybody trouble. And as you can see, that guy gets into a an, an, into a very um, favorable position to be able to make a play. Now, obviously, you know they they've tried to tune it a little bit, but really it doesn't stop that bomb. Now, if you actually think about it though, the the bombs in Gun Bunch are pretty much cover three bombs. Um, not just they're not only cover three bombs, but there's two specific ones. This one from Y Curl is also really good. It's a cover three bomb on the opposite side, and it basically uses the same concept um, as the bomb that I just showed you out of vertical. So they're both cover three bombs in an, in, in, in essence, right? Um, the other problem with, with with bunch though is that they throw corner routes and just so much is open, right? So let me give you a sneaky coverage adjustment that you can use um, that's really gonna be, I think, really gonna be very interesting against gun bunch so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to mike blitz three and then from there um what i like to do is if you take a look at this you're gonna notice that not only a couple things we can cross man everyone on the field so our linebacker like this linebacker on the left side if i put him in man coverage i can man him up on anybody in the field i can only do that if i audible from three to five normal so to me that alone makes us one of the best defensive uh schemes in the game because i can do uh, all kinds of things with this cross man. The second thing that I want to show you is this. When I click on the safety, it's going to give me different coverage adjustments. You're going to see here that it gives me um, a middle third, an outside third to the left, or a deep half to the left, a outside third to the right, or a deep half to the right, or I could put him in a middle read zone. Okay. So what I've been liking to do um, that's really been slowing this down is I'll just take this safety on the left side and I'm gonna put him in a deep half on the right side of the screen. So you see that, look at this zone, look at where he's gonna go. He's basically a cross zone. Then what this allows me to do is now I can take this guy, um, Davis, and I can put this guy in an outside third zone to the right side of the screen, just like this, or outside third zone uh, to the right side, sorry. Um, just like this right here. So you see, this is the zone that we create that way. Um, you could do that. You could also just leave him in his middle third. It's fine. You could put him in anything you want. But now what I can then do is basically play cover two. So I can put the corner on the back side here uh, into a cloud flat. I can then take my slot corner. I could put him into a hard flat. Um, and then I can take my linebacker, put him into a vertical hook. So basically what I have here is a you know very, very intense Mabel coverage to the bunch side. 
Now, all that being said, what I need to do on this backside, a couple things. I could take uh, this backside guy and I could do, you know, again, I could do all kinds of things. I like to just put him in man coverage and just kind of move him back in the inside. If you don't want to do that, then just put him in a deep half or a outside third. Outside third is fine uh, for the most part. Outside quarter to me is better because it doesn't bite down. It just goes vertical very, I mean, it plays crossers and things. So you can do that as well. Um, and then again, you know, we're just going to take this guy on this backside and we can do whatever we want with him. We can cross man him. We can man him up on square so he stops the post route. We can drop him into a uh, a hard a hard flat assignment so he'll take care of the running back route. Um, anything you want to do. And then obviously your user is going to be here and you're going to play kind of like a mid-read zone. Okay. Now, I just want to first show you the first things first, and that's the cover three bomb. So um, you're going to see here that if I try to just go to this basic cover three bomb, I would also recommend uh, going ahead and just, you know, that you don't want this safety coming down. You want him to be kind of right in here. But anyways, let me just show you the cover three bomb. What you're going to see here is that, see that little animation, and there's just nowhere to throw it. You can't throw that bomb. You cannot throw that bomb. Now, I'm going to show you this same setup but I wanna show it to you one little other adjustment, okay? Um, that I think is gonna be very interesting to you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down into the Mike Blitz 3. We're still gonna put that safety on the left side into a, um, a deep half to the right side of the screen. But now what we're gonna do with this other with this other safety is a couple things, several things we could do with this guy as well. We could outside third him to the left. Um, you could create that same cross zoning. You could put him in a middle third, whatever, right? But I'm just gonna drop him into a middle read. And now what this does is it frees me up as a user to come more over here to the left side, okay? So we'll just drop our flat zones uh, in behind that or whatever. But I just want you to watch this cover three bomb. Again, it's all about, it's all about this bunch of verticals uh, cover three bomb. So you'll see here that if they run the cover three beater, you're gonna see here that the deep half to the right is gonna go over and he's gonna rob it. And the reason that I like to use this is because at the face value, it looks open. Like if you're actually dropping back, you know, in a game and you're looking for this, it looks wide open, but because of our adjustments, it's not going to be, um, and you can leave this. I mean, you, you can leave this middle third. I just think mid reading him is better. Um, just for everything else. It, it does a really good job against any crossers or posts. You'll see some match coverage principles, but let me just show you that that just that standard bomb here. I'm just going to try to hit the bomb, lob it to the right, and see how that deep half just literally goes right with him stride for stride, and he'll take. And I don't know how I didn't pick that off, but he'll take that away. And that's the beauty of this concept. You can you can basically um, the other thing that I like this for is let's say the snap throw crossing route out of vertical. So um, what that might look like is this. So they'll take, they'll look at the crosser here and this robber does such a good job because again, you get him down kind of right in here and you put him in that zone and you have a mid read, they're not gonna look at this crosser. This crosser is not gonna be a great option early in the play. You see, I'm gonna try to snap throw it. They're not gonna throw that. They're not gonna throw that. And if they do, they're gonna get intercepted. So this creates kind of a robber style coverage from your safeties. They really do hawk over the middle of the field. And why I like this so much is it's basically bomb proof to the bunch side. There's not a bomb in this game um, that I've seen, at least to this point in the year, that can beat an outside third and a deep half on that right side from gun bunch, okay? There's some other formations that they can do some things and all that, but I just really wanted to focus on, on gun bunch. Obviously, um, you know, you're gonna use or you're gonna be kind of like a hook curl defender. You still have a Mabel concept on that right side, which I love. And then now let's take a look at double post. Uh, one of the best plays in the game. Watch this post drop to the circle. You're gonna see here that these robber coverages over the middle of the field, and I don't know how he completed that, but if I click on make a play, that's an interception. So that is a concept that you can apply to gun bunch. Use those. You don't have to just do it from cover. Um, one of my other favorite, favorite plays uh, to do this from is the cover four show two. Why? Because what I can do is I can take Wilcox here. I can put him in a deep half to the right. I don't have to worry about any corner routes. And then I can take this safety, put him in a mid-read zone. And then from there, this linebacker can be in a hard flat for all I care. It doesn't really matter. And then I can have a three-rec. And now look at this roll coverage. 
this deep half will literally rob almost everything that they're going to do from a gun bunch perspective if they try to go with the cover four beater uh, out of this you're going to see that deep half is going to literally just sprint stride for stride back and go make a play on the ball so i absolutely love this setup it's one of my favorite ways to defend gun bunch so you can apply this to other coverages though so find the coverage you want to apply this to we've broken down a lot of them in the defensive guide and we show you how to use some of these creative coverages to really slow down the best offenses in the game so thanks for watching the video if you want to get my defensive guide there's a link in the description below where you can go click that link we'll take you over to the website and we'll get you that defensive guide you can pick it up for just 15 dollars. thank you so much for your support and again if you want to get that guide just click the link in the description of the video